Hi everyone. Uh, yesterday, like uh, we spoke about uh, what are the graphics cores, other cores worked on in Qualcomm, and how various issues we debugged. And there are plenty of issues we have debugged in silicon or in simulations. Graphics core was the most challenge because it's unknown black box was got from third party core, so it's always remained a challenge, right? So post that, after that, Qualcomm acquired ATI, it became part of Qualcomm, and Qualcomm was also developing its own graphics core. I forgot the name, but it, it has some name, whatever it is. I think it's called Arduino outside. Yeah, as you know, it's called Arduino Graphics, but internally it had some name. I don't remember at this point of time. Right? So, so, so we, when the folks in San Diego are working, so it's always like, you know, uh, you get a stepmotherly treatment, if you have to say, use that word, actually, right? So you, you get the second rated work, rather, right? So they work on the cutting edge technology. So next generation technology, you, they give it to you, right? So it's always seen as an offshore center kind of thing, what you see, right? They work on the level one product, then that gets, uh, like, no, what to put a low tier, uh, kind of cheaper level phones, so you get the old technologies, then you have to maintain that, and you have to do that, right? So that's how it happens in any company, and no exception in Qualcomm. And we are learned like that, and then we work closely with our counterparts. I'll not use the word fight, but we work together, and we slowly got into the development side also, right? And the way the graphics had happened is, they, they have, a, they have a shortage of people. They want to say, you implement that. You synthesize the core and uh, you, you formally verify that and you own the entire implementation of that, right? That's how it started. They don't give us RTL work, but now you do the, all the backend process. So it's a synthesis, maybe some, some simulations. So it started slowly like that and slowly they, they, they were happy. We, we took that very seriously. Uh, one of my uh, teammates, uh, like, you know, he was working, drilling the Team is Ajay Navander, he's a very good friend of mine, he's right now in San Diego, right? Very, very good guy, and so so I'll, I'll talk about more about him. And uh, so he he was uh, leading the graphics team at that time. So we imp improved the power performance area like anything, we pushed it into thresholds, right? And we had a very noble person, we had a very very noble director called Jagan Ayaswami. So he was very supportive, very, very friendly manager, easy to work with, right? And yeah, it's very friendly, as you talk to you, are very close buddy, like you keep talking that way, right? Very easy to move, very easy to talk any issues. It was very supportive, right? And it's always encourages and mistakes happens, yeah, he doesn't take it seriously, right? And if somebody will go and bang him, he'll take all the banging, but he doesn't pause on to us. Very, very rarely that happened, actually, right? He's very friendly, uh, very good to have some supporting managers like that, actually, right? So, so, so the graphics course started that way, and slowly, uh, they, they were very impressed the way we implemented the core, and we pushed the technology limits. We did it in a very different way. They, they were very surprised. People in San, like, no, San Diego were very surprised. Oh, this guy team is very talented, right? And then uh, so they gave us slowly. We got involved in one block. They gave us something called a shader block. So slowly we started working on one of the blocks and uh, making RDL changes. So slowly, slowly we picked up and uh, and the, so, uh, the Qualcomm team had a what are the idea acquisition? There was a team in Finland. They were working on the 2D graphics core and that team was like uh, kind of winding away. They were winding up. So then. Uh, my graphics lead went there and he took out all the entire core from there. Like you know, we, we call the entire knowledge transfer and we started maintaining the core. Right? So a lot of technology transfer happened. So we, we always have to look at it positively. Right? The mindset is very important. You cannot think why somebody is giving me a junk work. No? It's not that. If your manager asks you to sweep the floor, you have to sweep the floor. So you are being paid every month, right? So work is worship. Right? You don't have to go, oh, why is I being asked to sweep the floor? No? Literally, I'm not saying that way. But whatever the job assigned to you, you have to do that. So that's, that's the thing, right? So th that is the mindset we need to all to cultivate, right? Why is somebody doing the? Why is somebody giving a, uh, some job which is not interested to? That's why he's pushing to us. It's not that way, right? You have to take it seriously and look at positively and you prove it different, right? You turn the table on the other side, right? So that's how you get more work, more challenging work. You grow the team, you know, so that's that's how we organically grow the team, right? So no, otherwise, like no, you take it. Oh, it's boring. It's not interesting. Then nothing happens. So right? you have to take everything positively and uh, prove, prove a point or two to other guy, right? Then he has no other option to uh, invest on you, right? He'll give more work because growing in other areas, uh, growing the teams is very difficult because of economical reasons. And uh, it comes to India, right? By the way, uh, yeah, I want to point out that we, as we become expensive in India, you guys all ask for higher salary, right? The impact out of that will be the work is moving to Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Vietnam, and like whatever other uh, like, no, African countries and everywhere actually, right? So that's happening actually as we speak, it's happening. You'll see that in two years, you'll see that it's happening. So you'll see all the jobs from India will move to other cheaper countries. I know people in Vietnam and other Bangladesh, 
or Sri Lanka, they, they are, people already have the offshore centers from India. Only Indians are doing it, right? Not other countries, right? So because the, the labor is becoming very expensive, you are very ambitious, right? You, you all think Qualcomm pays 30 lakhs, so you want to join Qualcomm, right? So, so then you expect the same thing from anything the others. At least I want 8 lakhs. So why? You don't have any expectations. If you have expectations, you'll have stress. Right? These are simple, simple lessons, right? So life lessons. So you work without any expectations, just focus on learning. Don't worry about your bond or don't worry about salary, what works. Everything will follow. I have followed that, right? So my principle, what I have learned uh, for whatever person, I, I won't name because he, he, I don't want to get into other aspects. So my principle is go, don't go behind money, name or title or the fame, right? So you don't go behind them, just do your work they'll keep following you. It's like catching your own shadow. Can you catch your shadow? No. If you go behind the name, money or a fame or a title, whatever it is, you'll not be able to get over that, right? But if you just do your duty, even if you say you don't want uh, the your fame or a money or a uh, your uh, name or title or whatever it is, it'll come automatically to you. If you don't say you don't want, still that come, they'll come chasing you, right? So that's a, I heard, I heard that from Dr. Kamakoti's father. So that's all, just I had to quote on the fly. So there are other contaminations, so let's not go into that. What is the message? Who said that is not important, but the message is important, right? So so message is very important. So learn that message. I've implemented that practically in my life. I'll talk about it in the subsequent episodes, basically, right? I've implemented that in letter and spirit. I've implemented in letter and spirit. So remember, what is that? You don't go behind name or fame, don't go behind money, don't go behind the titles. But just do the work and everything will fall in place over a period of time, right? I'll show you data. My own career, I'll show you in terms of salaries, what I made, I'll show you a graph and I'll show you the data, right? So don't worry about that. So that's how we started. So slowly we started a camera team. So camera team also, we had the implementation work, they give the legacy work, to just make the bug fixing, you to maintain that, right? And we had a wonderful lead, lead called Anita, right? And she was working in video and camera, both, both the course at some point of time, right? She's, she's very good. She's still there in Qualcomm in, 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 in Bangalore. She's very senior now and she's one of the directors there and uh, she's very friendly with she understands how i have helped her in the difficult times i mean she was like when the team was getting transitioned to me uh, yeah the her earlier manager said uh, i can say that openly now like uh, anita won't mention a good friend of me right and earlier, so you said be careful with anita and she wants to focus on her family life more than the professional life which is very valid right because as a come as a manager we would encourage being a lady she had a two three year old kid at the time so how she will like, oh, the Qualcomm work is very hectic, right? So you have to strike a balance between your work and life. When Qualcomm encourages work-life balance, yeah, I'll talk about other contaminations content, of what is the impact of work-life balance later on. But yeah, that's a HR encourages work-life balance, right? So you have to work, but you have to take care of your life. That's a message. And both are important. You cannot say life is more important or work is more important, right? So at times life is more important, at times work is more important. So if you are encouraged to take time off and take care of the family, but at times you have to work during weekends, midnights, late nights, 24 by 7, we do that. Other than we sacrifice a family, right? So it's both ways, it, it's, it's both ways, right? So some people co co complain that they don't have any work-life balance, that is not true. So you have to learn to learn that culture. Everyone has only 24 hours. So you have to set the priorities, you have to learn how to do that. And companies like Qualcomm provide you a lot of trainings, leadership trainings, and uh, like all, this, all the soft skills trainings. There's a lot of videos and a lot of material, even in the YouTube you find, lot of materials on time management and how to the leadership skills and everything, right? This is available. So I'm going to request few of my well-known HR friends to like, you know, come and address part of the Bharat Semicon movement. We are going to do that, right? Very soon, just watch out for in few weeks, few months, it will happen, right? So so we worked on uh, older generation, of course, we maintained that and uh, we were kind of hand-holding people to tell what exactly we have to do. To do in our own way, people will not like it. Why the hell this guy is not following my instruction, right? So we can. So we cannot be innovative. So you have to put up with all the nonsense if you have. If you have to say that word, so it goes like that, right? So, but over a period of time, people once they trust you, they you get freedom, right? So when when I went and I went to one of my video lead in San Diego, when I went to business trip, I made a specific trip to get the work, right? Because I have to fit. My team was very ambitious, which is very right. And you have to work on the cutting edge technologies. Who is not ambitious? All of us are ambitious, right? So so my my director allowed me to make a trip. So there was some other like, conference or something was happening. I made use of the opportunity, went there, two years, flew, flew there to San Diego. And when I spoke with the counterpart, my equipment manager and video team, he said, let's do one-on-one -on -one quickly, right? I was told, my management, that only the second generation work goes to India, 
the first generation work never goes to India, right? I, I told fine. His name is Sumit Mohan, right? I told he is working in Apple or somewhere today. I, I lost touch with him the last twenty years, but it's very nice guy, technology knowledge guy. But it's a different character. He is very little difficult to work with. Yeah, but it's very very soft. I mean, once you have a rapport with him, he'll help you a lot, right? So he's a very very nice person, but it looks like it's like a jackfruit kind of thing. You have a full of thorns outside, but it's very sweet inside, right? If you get get rid of thorns, it's like that actually. Right? Very very sweet person. I had such a kind of rapport with him. I can call him any time. I had his cell number, so I used to call him whenever. I mean, he's a very late, very late night person. Right? We are such characters. Some people work very late late night. San Diego, and uh, so he's one. So any time I can call his phone and uh, like no things like this. So I had such a kind of rapport. So, so over a period of time, he and Craig, we participated in their. Uh, we owned a blog, uh, so I think a CPU subsystem or something. We developed a CPU subsystem for a next generation video core, and I went there to present the HLD at high level design reviews. And uh, we were part of the same team, but we were working remotely. But we own a design blog. It may be not doing any video functionality, but it started with the CPU design. We, it's a, one of the Cortex based CPU design. So we came up with the design. We, we owned everything, and we verified, we integrated that. All right, we verified it to end and everything, right? And we also worked on a third party. We used to license code from Samsung because we didn't have an internal code to support the 1080p and a 720p, right? At the time, our solutions were not good, so we licensed a code from Samsung, and that was encrypted code, right? So, so it's very hard to debug, and so very tough time. So my colleague Anita was, she, she you know, with nobody to support, and uh, like she kind of stood there in the front, and uh, like, a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. I cannot name them. So. Very difficult times, but we all stood there in the front. We we solved the challenges and we became successful, right? And when the next gen core happened, so people came. Hurry, you take this block. You, you why don't you? You have do you have people? Yes, we had people. I had another fantastic person by name Ashish Mishra. We had a lost conversation. He solved one of my graphics problem, right? He is very good in CPU design. He is very good in debugging. He is one of the directors today in in in, in Bangalore. He is leading the video team, right? So he 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 owns some of the blocks. He and himself and other guys. So, so it's a very, 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 very interesting, very challenging teams. So we, sometimes we cannot go. We buy. We we get help of contractors from other services company. We but we gel with them. We don't treat them as outside people, but we treat them as our team. We also give them feedbacks to help them in the career. We give them interesting work. We we make them job very interesting to them. Right, and it's a, it's a very, very interesting team work. And we we worked as a team. We debug together. So people love to work. Right? I give always have a. Uh, periodic feedback with them and keep them give feedback. What they have to do well, what happened, and I, I also take feedback. If anything I do wrong, I accept it. I say it's my mistake. I'm sorry. And what I could have done better, like uh, how does it impact them? So we take feedback, right? So, so I do that in my one-on-one -on -one with the team. So people love to work with me, right? Right from the beginning, I had always have that mean a lot of people are given a lot of, and we have 360 feedback. You take feedback from the juniors, from your peers, and from your supervisors, right? So it's a very interesting system, right? In the, in the reviews and everything in Qualcomm. So, so, I, so we used to get feedback, and uh, so by looking at uh, indirectly looking at the feedback, I knew what kind of we 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 can know because we know how we work with people, right? And who gives what feedback because you work with them, you indirectly know, right? Who gives what feedback? So, but it's all good. We have to take the right spirit. And if you didn't, you didn't make a mistake because I proactively know because I work with the people on a periodic basis, one on one. So I I already know where I am lacking and where I have to do better. Right? And I also tell people if the guy is not up to speed, is not doing good. I also tell him you have to do this. You have to remain focused. This is your goal. You have to remain focused on it. And what help he needs, right? So that's what we always are. You have to take help, right? As a student, you guys are hesitant to contact me or ask for help, right? Asking for help is a very important trait in industry. So I have few slides. I'll probably do it in one or two days. I'll get to the slides and I'll show it to you. So the multimedia experience was very very interesting. And uh, so we we won some audio course on some part of time. We did camera, we did video, we did some JPEG course. A very very interesting journey. Very interesting journey. The three or eight member team. I think we grew to the 15, 16 member team at least. I don't remember the numbers. Uh, at least I had easily eight to ten people from different companies. Very aggressive hiring we did. And uh, yeah, we all kind of tactics, big borrow steel kind of thing, right? We did that. And yeah, some some places we are not successful to get the, the talent, but we attracted very good talent. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to name the people, but I have very good friends today in the graphics team. I just call them; they, they respond to me anytime. I, I command the respect. So because you give respect and take respect, that, that's the way, right? So it's very important, very important, right? So, so the graphic experience was good. So that was going on till 2011, right? And and 2011, I think I have to take about my, I talk about my memory base team. I, I didn't tell the names. I had very few key people like who were working on. 
one person named today also i spoke to him you know very late in the night he called me for a, for some some discussions uh, his name is srinivasa kamisetti he is working in intel now he was my first lead when i was transition to other jobs so you have to transition basically right you have to make sure that work doesn't suffer so we hired another person he was my ex colleague in ecil and we hired him he was in analog devices in hyderabad so he wanted to move so i called him buddy are you interested so he moved and he had a good background in gate level simulations and those kind of things so he took over the entire memory based and he it took some time for him to ramp up to understand but yeah he he took up and there was a lot of challenges for him and i had other friends like ravi kiran jalaadi and avinash yadavati i still like the we, we keep talking we is in malaysia intel right now and uh, and i had few interns we converted uh, one of the girl is truti and one of the other intern was uh, vaibhav vaibhav kakre and uh, very very interesting people very junior people and I had another person by a very good friend of mine aditya bankar i think we hired a company was one company was shutting down in hyderabad so, so somebody hired and i fortunately he landed my team and so he was doing memory based then i hired him to the multi i seeing his talent i hired him into multimedia team i moved him and he became a systems expert in multimedia and then he is working in uh, nvidia or some other company there i think he is in nvidia in bangalore right? very successful person very knowledgeable person at a very junior level i could spot that he's just one year experience guy he, he has a spark i can easily i can easily find out i, I spoke to a 12th standard student today just finished exams four days before in tamil nadu state government i i called because tomorrow i have a webinar and i don't have i don't want to do to be the driving party we have to train others right so i i was asking bugging other people in bharat semicon i was given one name so i spoke to the guy who are you what is your background and uh, and uh, first thing you told me call me sir i told don't call me sir call me hari do you know what is sir i asked him you don't know so i, I told him uh, sir means a slave slave uh, in in uh, sorry i forgot suddenly i, I told that guy can look at wikipedia right so slave slave i remain sorry i, I forgot the memory loss short of slave i remain right so he says sir so you guys all call me sir right so are you my slave no way right but it depends we are not slave to anybody right so so try and avoid calling sir so i know in academic it's a way but in industry we never call anybody as sir so there's a guy i told that guy today don't call me sir right? just call me hari and all all if you want call hari ji otherwise right so don't have to go oh, can i call you brother and all your no 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 emotions like just jay sir hari and or mr hari or hari ji right if you go in anybody new as you just call by the first name right no mr no doctor or anything so we have only the academics we have this problem right we got to fix it sometime right so why no, nobody is nobody slave or or should be sir isaac newton then they can call him sir i am not knight either right so why do you want i to be called sir right? i keep telling all the people like one of the person who worked me in the graphics team i heard him from samsung so he always called me sir i tell i used to do joke i pull him like but he worked with the japanese customers so he always the culture was like no saying sir right so he had that culture but had very tough time in changing his culture and probably today also he says sir ji he'll say if i call him I'll, let me try calling him tomorrow uh, his name is amit amit dukkal is a very good friend of mine uh, let me try calling him say so he'll say hi sir ji he'll say right. so let, let me like to talk to him and i'll report you tomorrow what he says right so don't don't, don't call people sir at least you exclude with me when you are you can ask your people who are in industry you just ask your seniors working industry nobody calls people working in multinational companies service companies are different ball game yeah that's different i don't want to comment on it but that is a product companies in mnc's you just call by them the first name right is no harm you have respect for the heart you give respect but not calling by name right it's, it's not a disrespect right so so this so that's okay that's okay right so 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 2011 so unfortunately i have to uh, there's a some family issues I had to transition to Chennai, right? So at that time, Athiras was Qualcomm was acquiring Athiras. The Athiras acquiring was just getting completed, and I had an opportunity to move, but I had to make a lot of sacrifices. I cut down my uh, title, like I, I got de-promoted, one one title down. I had to lose the salary, but my family was more important to me at that time. It was it was a hell in the family, right? So I don't want to name what it is, but when I went to my immediate manager, I just called him on the day, Jagan. There is some serious thing I want to talk to you. It was a Sunday. He, he took his car and came next to my house there is a mall i forgot the name of the mall what is the mall he came for a cup of coffee there he drove and uh, his name is jagan i asked me told him, very nice gentleman so i told i told him i told him heart to heart i told what is the issue just keep it confidential but i'm going through a hell in the family life and uh, i i need uh, to take some important decisions so he told i'm with you go ahead and uh, talk to the like you no know, site head 
his name was Dhawan Hajmadi, right? So, so you, you can look up in LinkedIn. He's, he was in Intel, but after Intel all fiasco, he, he is doing something on his. I don't know what he's doing. So, say Hari, like you no, know, he has a huge respect for me, right? And he puts his arm over me, and over lunch we walk together. And he, he, he's a very clever guy, right? It's very clever guy. He scolds, yells at people, but gets the things done. He, he has the tactics, how to work the get the work done from. He's a very smart leader, right? So, so I, I went to him and told there is some issue, Daman. This is what it is. And uh, so I had to be in Chennai, and there is no no the Qualcomm team was there, but the Hyderabad team, right? So they don't want to hire me for whatever reason. I, I tried few things there, but it backfired, right? So whatever some politics or whatever you call it, it didn't work out. So Daman uh, was like, I'll create some job, and uh, see, it was a gate level simulation, vector generation, and some some odd job basically, but I didn't mind because at least I had a job, right? And one of my great friend, uh, he, 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 I, I don't want to. Reveal his full name. Uh, he's in a very senior position in one of the big MNCs. His name is Sri Ram. Uh, let me not tell his uh, like the last name and embrace him, right? So, so we, we are like brothers, right? So we are like brothers. That kind of relationship, right? So right from the graphics debug, we were together. He was working on the team. He was he was responsible for handling the testers and everything. Then he took over the bigger roles. He just grew in the career like anything. Very hardworking person. Very clever. Very smart. He knows. How, he is very friendly. And yeah, he is like my brother. Any, anything I want today, I, I just call Sri Ram and and I'd say something. He he gets the job done for me. He gives me advice. So friend philosopher guy, right? So someone who can look for, right? And so so I was asked to talk to him and so I, I spoke to him also. We then uh, yeah, my my, my the side head itself is said. So why don't you do something? Then I had to talk to uh, Sri Ram and his boss and we formed a strategy. I I moved to Chennai and still I was handling my multimedia team and a lot of once you know like people are transitioning. A lot of politics happen. I know back of my uh, like you know, my, my back, some politics were happening, the politics were happening. I kept it on later, but it it is a human psychology. Like people who like why like why part of your position, right? There are a lot of people who continue. You know, the seat is vacant, they all throw their kerchief, right? We do that, right? When you get to a bus or a public transport, somebody is getting up, you put your people people try to put a kerchief. In Mumbai suburban, if you travel in Mumbai, you pretty much will know what is happening, right? So it's heavy crowd and people there's a seat vacant. Yeah, so you many people try to contend, right? So that what happened. So I don't blame people, yeah, but but that that's very natural, right? It's very natural. But many but many of my colleagues they go, who work for me, like they they felt bad. Like I heard uh, like a lot of sad stories, but it it doesn't affect me, right? So I, I it is a very it's a normal human psychology. It's very normal. So, so so I had to move to Chennai because thankfully that Atlas Qualcomm was there. So I moved into Chennai, right? So so that's and I did uh, worked on gate level simulations, vector generation. I was given because I had expertise in multimedia. I was given the, all the response from multimedia core in Sriram and praised me a lot. So he strategically wanted me to come with some new methodologies, and educate the team on writing, how to write a test, how to because they were from a different background, right? Because I came from a design background, so I used to teach them how to write a test, how to write a new test, how to add a test, right? So how to develop, how to understand the design. So I so th th I had a lot of fruitful sessions, and uh, so I used to travel once in a while from Chennai to Bangalore. And uh, it was Sriram was very helpful, right? So a lot of good things we did at that time, and uh, so 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 I'll I'll stop this by now, and I'll, I'll talk about more about Chennai stories uh, tomorrow. Okay, till then, bye bye.